Hey, Jay Nicholas for the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. We are gonna tie a tube McKenzie Special Bucktail. Amazing, right? So I have a, this is a uh, sport, pro sport fisher classic tube in the small. I have one end burnished. This is a small hook guide, but it's too long for my liking. So I'm gonna shorten it to about there. Um, put it on my small flex needle and get started here. Um, we've all fished, any, anybody who is, anybody, most people who have fished the McKenzie for years have really enjoyed fishing the McKenzie, the green McKenzie caddis hatch. It will often bring, the, the McKenzie caddis hatch and the October caddis hatch will often bring the largest wild red sides to the surface of the year. So spring and fall. I put a piece of red, small, uh, it's copper ultra wire. My dubbing is a mixture, you know, not to be one who's satisfied with the out of the package dubbing. It's a blend of uh, McKenzie special green and uh, muskrat and a little bit of uh, uh, ice dub to add a little bit of sparkle to it. I hope you can see that. This is actually going to be tied stimul stimulator style. We often fish this in a size 8 or a size 10. Now I'm tie my hack my rear hackle in by the butt and wind it to the rear of the tube. Then I take my wire. Chris likes to tie these with mono, but what does he know? He thinks that the fly is lighter and floats better, but I think that the red wire attracts more fish and the weight is negligible. So you try it the way you like it and you decide. Standard size eight and size 10 hooks are pretty good size hooks. And you hook a, a fair number of very small trout on, on these bugs. And I think those hooks are tough on them. So by tying this on a tube, you can use these. There, it's a Daiichi. I think it's a 1640. 1640. About a size 10 is a very small hook. It's, it's um, by the way, I'm going to push that, kind of shape that deer hair wing a little bit. It's a light wire hook. It's a tiny barb. You pinch the barb down and doggone it. I just think it's, I think the fly overall is lighter. And I think when you do hook very small fish, it's easier on the fish. So one of the tricks here when you're tying this hackle in is make sure you leave a long enough stem because you dub your head on there and then your hackle pulls out and you are just left weeping. So sometimes I'll use a black head on this, but in this particular case, I'm using the same color that I did on the body and I can build it up to cover that transition on the elk on the elk hair deer hair you can tie this with an elk hair wing also these hackles are long enough when i grew up we didn't really have access to feathers like these so you always had to use hackle pliers I have a few wild deer hairs there. Let's take care of those. 
I always had to use hackle pliers, but the feathers we have access to nowadays are so nice. In many cases, you do not need hackle pliers. You may notice also that the hackle I tied on at the forefront of the fly is a little bit wider, a little bit bigger than the rear palmered hackle. There's a method to that so that the fly kind of sits up. A little whip finish there. Drop of cement just for good luck. Get a little rotation there. A tube, McKenzie Special Caddis. They work anywhere that the big green caddises are jumping around, usually in June. Thanks.